to southern Minnesota today. We're going to go see a Pioneer dugout house and possibly head over to New Ulm and see a couple of sites there. So stay tuned. expanse of the farmland and stuff and now we're heading into the Minnesota River Valley. As you can see ahead we're gonna be going down a really big hill here and it's gonna go to just a, like a medium-sized river but this whole valley used to be a one giant river at the end of the last ice age. Where we're driving right now would have been the banks of that uh, ancient river. And it's just, it's a really cool part of the uh, state where you just drive on this flat farmland forever and then you hit this really uh, tree covered uh, big valley. And it's just a nice little scenic spot that you get to see on this drive. Right now we're going to be crossing over the Minnesota River and as you'll see it's not like a really huge river or anything. I mean it's a main river in our state. But for the most part this whole area down here this used to be a giant river system at the end of the last ice age. And now we're going to be going up this hill to come out of this river valley. Probably hard to tell in the video, but this is a pretty steep hill that we're going up. I mean, the car shifted down a gear to deal with the incline. And we'll get to the top of this hill, and you'll see it'll just be flat farmland again. flat out here even relative to where we come from and here's the sod roof house right here so we're gonna walk down the trail here and check it out all right we got this old shack here got a cowbell got an old bell on here take a look inside this is like an old trapper shack, looks like. Got some cast iron on the wall, hat, coal shovel, old jugs and stuff. There's an old stove, which is very accurate for the type of shack it's in here. It's got these for burners, old medicine pouch. Old arrows, the arrowheads on them, old leather pouch, carved mugs, old Indian art on the wall here, a lot of dream catchers, little skin cap. We got furs. Another mug. Jawbone. Old black pot. 
powder pouch. Saddle bag. Coyote furs. Very cool. And so we can see up here, there's a ladder. There's a little loft up here. So it's got just a couple of trinkets and stuff up here, but very cool. Very accurate way old trappers would make little cabins and stuff. Old trapping shacks. So very cool. Old axe right over the doorway. Alright, that's about it for this one. Let's go check out the sod house. Alright, here's the soddy. Interesting door handle. As you saw from the outside, I mean it didn't look very big. But in here, I mean it's pretty it's pretty roomy. No electricity, no plumbing. All the lights would have been uh Kerosene, stuff like that. So let's take that. We'll shut the uh, the door here, and we'll start this part of the room. Some old mirror. It's an old crib. A lot of household stuff here. Would have been a bucket for. Our Getting water out of a well. The old broom here. We got the old wood stove, actual wood stove for cooking. This is actually really cool. My great uncle used to have one of these in his house. And I mean, these things will warm your house. You can do all your cooking on them. Just a little cabinet that you would keep your uh, wood in. There's a little book on the Little House on the Prairie TV series. Which those books were uh, written and based on uh, Walnut Grove. Minnesota. The show was shot in California, but it was uh, set in Walnut Grove, which is actually just another 15 minutes on the road from here. Dining room table. The floors in here are just, they're straight up floorboards. You know, they're pretty rough. There's nothing fancy about them. Old china hutch. Assuming this is a old wardrobe here. Yeah, got some old clothes in here. It's pretty cool. Old bed, old lounge here, some old wood toys. Got ourselves another wardrobe here. Oh, it looks like there's candles and other stuff. It's just a cabinet for stuff. Old kerosene lanterns. These are leather. Um, if I were to guess, I'd say that's for your stropping a knife, sharpening a straight edge blazer or razor or something. Old tin. Got in here all sewing stuff. Should make sense since we got the old foot powered sewing machine here. And if we look down there, just rock your foot back and forth, and that's what makes the whole thing work. That and the flywheel. Pretty cool. That is very cool. This is what a, a nice sod house would look like. Next we'll go check out the uh, the abandoned one. Old farm equipment over there. 
Got a lot of native prairie grass here. Prairie flowers. A little later in the year, so they don't look as pretty as they could be, but they're here. And here's the old sod outhouse. Two holes. So if someone else has to go to the bathroom, I'll, uh, you gotta go. You guys can go together. So, pretty nice. And what we're gonna go check out last over there, you can see the roof of it. That's the abandoned sod house. That's the thing we're gonna go check out next. Here's the old abandoned sod house. This one's, the other one is fixed up really nice. This one is a little more authentic, I think. If you look, I mean, those aren't bricks. Those are chunks of sod cut out of the earth and stacked up like bricks. They did not have trees here. The few trees they did have, they used to throw up that. And then they would literally cut out sod out of the prairie and throw it up on top. And that's what kept the rain out. It was not an easy existence for people. Um, they would dig out the side of a whatever little hills they did have out here. And they would make these homes. This one is a lot more accurate to what, uh, what a sod home would have been like which is very low roof, a little loft maybe for the kids to sleep, a bed like that, people to sleep on, and then, you know, you got your little corner, you got your amenities in here, and then you've got your, your little wood stove, and then maybe a table. And, I mean, this was it. It was whatever you could find out here. Because if you didn't, if uh, if you couldn't build something like this, you would just freeze to death. It gets cold here in the winter, and you would not make it. Not sleeping in a canvas tent all winter, not the whole winter. So, makes you realize how easy you have it here. I mean, this is a dirt floor, everything. You gotta imagine that the mice would be. All over the place in here is a warm place. There would have been rodents crawling all over in here, but you would have been out of the weather. It would have been warm. And uh, you would have got by another winter in this thing for sure. So it's just a really, uh, I mean, here's another example of just like, you know, that was a mallet. Whatever you could find out here to scrap something together. That you would make. There's an old barrel that's pretty cool. So it's just really interesting to me. And also, there's an old plow as well. So that's very cool. Here's one last look at the old sod house. Just very interesting history for this area. Well, so here's some sod cutters. So you can see the wood frame. It's an attachment. You hook up to a horse. And it has these blades on it. And you would put some weight on them. You'd stand on them. You'd have the horse go. And it would dig into the ground. And it would cut out nice square chunks of sod for you. So... Pretty uh, ingenious how they did did that. Here's another example too. Walking down a nice mowed trail right through the prairie grass here. I mean this stuff is a little shorter than me. But I mean just imagine walking through all this stuff. It could not have been easy to come out here and settle this place. So, 
that was pretty much the tour. There's a couple old buildings. Talk to the uh, the gal who owns this, and she's very nice. It's very happy to see people come out here and check it out. And um, yeah, so here's another. You can see it over there. There's that one, and there's the abandoned one over there. So and here's a here's a shot of the landscape out here, which is just flat and it's just full of corn. And uh, you can see uh, you can see a town over there. It's just the town's probably a couple miles away. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. There it is. Very cool. Probably going to go on a little walk on the trail here quick, and then we'll head back to the car, and uh, we'll uh, head back home and see if there's a few more sights to see. <laughs> All right, so that was the sod house, and uh, it was very cool. It was definitely worth the drive. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll uh, see you guys next time.